guys, your boy Cooper. and welcome back to my favorite 16 Liverpool Karma, where last time I left off, I picked up wins in the Champions League over s Sport thing and, and Owen over for Chelsea in the league. Uh, and this is, so I have my, in, have a game in the uh, Capital One Cup against Sheffield Wednesday, and I have a league game against Arsenal. Also, well, looking forward to playing these two matches. Is I'm a bit on the pissed off side. So, so in case you didn't see Liverpool's match, basically, Liverpool we had uh, to no win. Wrapped up in a nice tidy bow. But first, Moreno ripped the fucking paper by giving away a free kick, and that pedophile. Cunt! Adam Johnson, of course, scores it because Mignolet can't save for a shot! And then, and then, we, he, through sheer horrible, horrible defending, Mamadou Sacco, hang your head in shame and retire! You fucking suck, you cunt! You shouldn't be a Premier League defender! You should not be a Liverpool player! This is why we need new defenders. Because the ones we have are terrible! Moreno should not be playing. I would rather roll Joe Gomez onto the pitch in a wheelchair and have him play left back than Moreno. Oh, and don't even get me started on in centre back because we know Jimmy Carragher will, would come back because he said so. Oh, oh, so Klopp. Sign him up, get rid of Sacco, oh, play Torre and Carragher. Her, her. Until you sign an actual center back who knows how a center back is supposed to do their fucking job. And won't stand around and wait for the photo score. And don't even get me started on Mignolet because, oh my fucking god, what the fuck was he doing? He could have easily saved both. Oh, the sun and goals that went in, but he didn't! Now he was unlucky for the free kick. I'll give him that. He was unlucky for the free kick, but what the fuck was he doing for the Defoe goal? What the fuck was he doing? Nothing! That's what he was doing! He did nothing! And you give him a new five year contract! That's out of danger there with that clearance. Why? Can somebody please tell me why? It's a fucking disgrace, is what it is. They've gone up to take the throw well up the field to keep the pressure on. That header takes the ball out of play. Lawrence. I mean, I knew everyone knows who our defense is terrible. Oh, but I didn't think they would be this bad in a match. That was a pathetic. I wouldn't. Ex I would expect better for fucking defending from some children and playing PE. That was pathetic. And the people, and to, to the fans who walked out of the ground and, and in protest to the ticket prices, I feel ya. Uh, you were lucky you walked out when you did. I kind of wish I could have walked out and I wasn't even at it. I was not even at the match and I wish I walked out. It's a fucking disgrace. Must be buzzing. Brilliant. Well, it was such a beautifully delivered corner that uh, you just felt it was going to end up... With we need new defenders in the summer window. Oh. Why we didn't sign new ones in the January window is beyond me. He, he, and don't give me that. There were none available bullshit. Everyone knows. Everyone has a price. No one is not available. 
just put the money in and the team who own the player will fold. It always happens. Man United did not want to sell or Cristiano Ronaldo to Real Madrid. Real Madrid offered the right amount of money. And United couldn't and not accept it. Liverpool, we would have much rather not sold Suarez. It's, but on top of the fact that he was a cheating and buying cunt, and he was also he also happened. We also happened to get a really good offer or that was really hard to turn down. And same with Spurs when they were trying to keep Bale. They tried to keep Bale, oh, but uh, that didn't happen. It's a fucking disgrace. He's. He's. The fact that. And I mean, I don't want to blame mm, Klopp, because I don't blame Klopp. I blame the shit idiots that run this football club. John W. Henry he, and Ian Air. Kill yourselves, you stupid cunts. How you run this football club is beyond me. He. A three-year-old old, old, old could do a better job. And I'm convinced a three-year-old would do a better job. You know what? Let's start a petition to get any random three-year-old in charge of Liverpool Football Club. After one window, I guarantee you we'll, we'll have better players, and we'll have a better squad, and we'll have a better team. devoted to this particular manager and the temptation of uh, an international job, but we understand that he's turned that down. John W. Henry, sell this club. You do not know how to run it. Sell it now, or we will kill you. Fucking asshole. And don't get me started on Ian Air. Ian Air, how you still live right now is beyond me because as you've done nothing but screw up since you got this job fucking disgrace he's And I implore her, I am begging us that if we do not get yes, new defenders in the summer window, we will never get top four again. Because the current crop wouldn't be he see in dead in the champions like he hell oh, We have I'm I'm gonna say it right now, our defense is relegation and worthy. Any team, any other team with our defense would be relegated every single year. It's a fucking disgrace. He's. We need new defenders and we need a new goalkeeper. If that's not uh, one hundred percent and clear after today, then I don't know what it will take. Good action in the English League Cup in the first 45 minutes. Second half starts now. Yeah, I think one or two players surprised us actually how well they played in that first half. They'll be delighted. Palmer. On the plus side, at least we're winning this match. Oh, what a strike! What a volley! Top line and corner. Looking for more at 4 0. 
I'm sorry I got a bit worked up, but you know, when you're passionate about something and and, and you're sick of seeing the same shit over and over again, you just have to voice your opinion. You just have to voice your opinion. Hutchinson. far too close to the goal because right now I can't even call a Liverpool football club because it's a joke it's a joke because that's not Liverpool football club that cannot be Liverpool football club because as we because we've been somehow replaced by a literal oh, 11 player joke not even 11 player four no, three defenders. No, wait, two defenders. There's and a goalkeeper. Because Torre, he, he, he tried his best today. And he had another good game. Even though he came on for Lovren, who got injured again. Because, why not? Going to be a substitution here for the home side. And Klein. Klein is always putting in, in in a decent performance. It was bound to happen eventually that we would that one of our signings from Southampton would be somewhat decent. So to clarify, I'm not putting it on the whole defense. It's Sacco, Moreno, and Simon Manelli. Sorry, Simon Manelli. He's not a freaking He's not the freaking thing that comes out of guys' dicks. His name is Simon. Pronounce it correctly for fuck's sake. We don't live in Belgium. You live in, in England where S I M O N is Simon. Real good contest between these two as they jostle. And C A N is can and not Chan. It's a fucking joke, yo. I mean, I don't care. If other countries want to pronounce Chan, can Chan, let them. But you don't have to. You do not have to. Pronounce it as it looks. C A N. You are not German. You don't pronounce it Chan. You pronounce it Can. Like Can Liverpool still finish top four. Not with the four. Not with practically a fucking hole in our defense. If you can call that a defense, I don't know what logical football team would call that. That rubbish a defense. And, but uh, we apparently do. Such a one sided affair, but look at the scoreline. Nothing so far in this game to surprise us. Perhaps only. They lead by. Really, the wrong defender got injured today. The wrong center back. Because if Lovren hadn't got injured, would that mistake have happened? Hmm, let's see. Probably not. Because Lovren has been improving. Sacco is still the same useless piece of shit that cost us the Premier League title. Oh. And before anyone as it was Steven Jarred, it's who passed him the ball? Mamadou Sacco. If he had kicked it down the pitch, it's we'd have a be we'd have we'd be having a different discussion because the slip would never have happened because Gerard would never have gotten the ball to slip with in the first place. Well, it's one minute. Which is why I am pissed off that we are still passing it around the back. That doesn't get you goals. That does not get you goals. Goals. Oh, it doesn't get you goals in any league whatsoever. The only goals it might lead to is goals for your opposition. And it's a header, but he's certainly going to get another game, Alan, because he scored a second time. You know what? 
I'm not going to talk about it anymore. I'll leave it at that it was a fucking disgrace. Let's let's just get into the game against Arsenal. Beat them. And stay at least four points clear at the top of the Premier League table. Shuffle for Liverpool. Rafael Varan starts with Imeric Laporte as the centre backs. Gareth Bale starts with Marco Royce in the wide positions, and it's rounded off the team with these two strikers. Jonathan Moss is the man in charge today. Mathieu Debushi. He's got his tackle in, and the ball's gone out now. Santi Fazola. Baratti. Welbeck. And shoots! Oh, he's hit it very true, but just off target. Nathaniel Klein. On the attack here. Here's the cross. Well, it was considered controlled attacking play, but it's come to nothing in the end. Now they've got to think about defending against the opposition. Royce. Is it back to Rodriguez? That's it to teammates. To Klein. To Coutinho. Coutinho! Bottom corner. Spot on. Game for them. Taking of a goal chance. <coughs> When the pressure's on. So the first Sorry, my voice again. Uh, a bit, uh, it's a bit. Uh, yeah. And he gives it back to his teammate, Santi Cazola. Ferrati with a bad pass. Cut out by Rain. Correa. Come on, make the run. Go on, Marco. Marco. Able to make a good interception. Oh, in goes the cross. Neymar, the offside player. Well, that was a threatening attack and it's been stopped by the foul free. What? Come on! I win the ball fair and square. On EA Sports very soon for you. The Champions Cup fixture. Arsenal, they'll be facing Wolfsburg away from home. Yeah, high quality fixture this one. There won't be much quarter. Should be 2 0. Oh. Ricardo Rodriguez. Games cheer. Unforced error, really. Good tackle by Ricardo. Oh, is Neymar going to get there? No, he's not. Here, yeah, Wolcott. Debushi. Korea to nil. Two nil. Two nil. 
You just headbutt the corner flag. What the fuck? I think he just headbutted the fucking corner flag. What the actual fuck? Take another look at the goal. It's a beautiful goal, but what the fuck did he do to the corner flag? I guess it's not going to show it. Margin here to two nil. It looked like it was a headbutt. Interesting uh, celebration. Maybe is that a tribute to Real Madrid managers of the Dean's <laughs> Well. I don't know, is it? I don't think I've seen that quarter flag celebration yet. Chris, not even French, he's Argentinian. Target today for the home side is incredibly the seventh consecutive victory. Well, it's been fantastic mm -hmm. for Interesting, very interesting. The danger to the goal has gone with that clearance. Now for the pass. Mark penalty. Thank you very much. Penalty given, Alan, but no. Javi Martinez. I think he got a card as well because he was reacting to something from the referee. Yeah, I'm assuming. Or maybe he didn't. Here, wait. Three. No. Oh, thank you very much. Checked the, the right way, but he didn't really have a chance. Want to go race with his first goal of the season? A late never remarkable. Thanks for joining us in the party. Bushi, Aaron Ramsey, Kieran Gibbs, fouled by Marco Royce. And then he goes and fouls, I think it was Gibbs. Is that who our smaller playing at left back? Three minutes from the referee by the fourth official, that's the decision. That guy well back with bad control. Oh, Bell, or Clarion, that should be half time. No? Still not half time? And yeah, it was Karen Gibbs. That's the way to win the ball back. Correa. Looking for Royce. There's there is half time. And they skip past the uh, half time results too fast, sorry about that. Although I'm pretty sure I only saw one kick was off. Anyway, away we go. Uh, I guess we can have a better look at full time. Uh, right now, focus on getting on uh, the second half before I get my three points. Uh, so Arsenal have a have a comeback in their locker. Who knows? Maybe they'll do an Old, old Istanbul job. 3 0 down half time, come back to draw 3 3. Unlikely now that it's 4 0. Well, they've increased their lead here, and that could just wrap up the match. Yeah, no, the much better team out here today. Eight goals in the league already for Neymar. Very off colour. Danny Welbeck. Laporte. What? Come on, that was a good challenge. A yellow card! How is that a yellow card? And freaking Merton's got nothing for the penalty. That was a goal scoring opportunity. That should have been a ring. He didn't even get a yellow. 
And for a good challenge, I get a yellow? What the fuck? <laughs> I get the ball and I get a yellow. He didn't get shit. It, it, including the ball. Well, or a card. It's the goalkeeper's ball. Sure, what I was going for with Neymar. I did think that this would be one of the tightest games we've seen. I think it's gone the other way. Yeah, it has. It has. I think everybody in the stadium is quite surprised by that because the one side has been. So then, to clear the danger. Well, I have the chance. Oh, that was right. I was gonna say, maybe he. If he wasn't offside, that would have been a great chance. Continue. Arsenal have possession. They've won it. De Bruyne, uh, Arsenal, De Bruyne, Jack Wiltshire. Or Wiltshire, however you uh, say his name now. Because I'm pretty sure that's what Arsenal fans call him. If not everybody else. The situation perfectly with that interception. He's always injured. Arsenal substitute who's getting ready. Marco Royce. He's like the Arsenal equivalent of uh, Daniel Sturridge. Shot top. Well, that's a good block. And he's gone and won the ball with a very good tackle. Well back. To get the ball to Sanchez. Thought Bale would win that uh, muscular battle, but he didn't. Uh, the ball back anyway. Here's Daily Mans. That's the ball to Daily Mans. Good. Neymar. Against Dubucci. He's always going to win this battle. Uh, Martins. 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 Is it Mertens or is it Martinez? Well, say, Martinez, isn't it? Martins is a... Uh, is that a... Uh, is that Nigerian player who plays in the MLS? What am I saying? What was I saying Mertens? I was saying Mertens the whole goddamn time. What am I doing? There's a... Campbell. One for Theo Walcott. Just in time! Aim for Neymar to score at number five, but Giroud is on as well. Oh, what an enjoyable goal to watch! It must have been great to participate in. The defenders seem to lose the concentration almost. They saw it coming from a long way out. Oh well, he's just wanted. I don't know how Giroud managed to get his first touch of the ball is uh, kicking off for for five, after the after it becomes five nil. <laughs> Uh, I don't think that's what he had in mind. Javi Martinez. Santi Cazola. Campbell. Looking for Santi Cazola. Wait. Campbell's pass found Cazola, but uh, Cazola didn't find the net. So, uh, epic fail. Hey. One team's coming off looking pretty fresh, the other team exhausted. They've been chasing the game. Full time and not a comfortable win. 5 0. It was Crystal Palace and West Brom who were kicked off the game. It looks like I have uh, another. Er, Champions League match in the next episode against uh, Antoinette.
So in the next episode, I have games against Intellect and Spurs. Make sure and come back for that one. I promise I won't be as mad next weekend. Actually, I probably will because Liverpool do have a match next weekend. The Premier League isn't over until May, yeah, unfortunately. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed somehow. I'd understand if you didn't. Sorry I went on a bit of a rant. Just just a bit of a one. Uh, but if you did enjoy listening to me he shout my absolute lungs out, uh, then smash the like button. Subscribe for more videos. It was, it was, I'll try and keep the rants and to myself next time. Unless you want to hear them. In which case, I'll rant more. If you want that, that's perfectly okay. And, uh, yeah. Until next time, um, I hope you all have a very, very nice day.